Hi, I'm Dr. Gail, and I'm a starseed healer, and today I have another story to tell you, and it is for entertainment purposes only. Now, um, Monto showed up in my living room, and he's my pilot of the spaceship, and when he shows up, it usually means we have a mission, and it requires the two of us. So we took off and we went to Africa. Now, I wasn't sure what the mission was going to be, and neither was he until we got there. And there was a teenage Gray, and she was stranded in Africa with her spaceship, was just landed. It, it didn't look like anything was wrong with it, but it had landed. We, we soon found out they had um, disconnected it or disarmed it or whatever you could call it because she was a runaway teenager gray. And I'm sure they weren't quite prepared for doing a gray hybrid and what the teenagers would be like. I'm sure I'm just throwing them off on how to handle them. Can you imagine the grays with kind of their straight lace, everything's right, and then all of a sudden they um, do these hybrids with humans and now they're de dealing with teenagers. Anyway, so she had stolen a spaceship and ran away and they just armed it and so she had to land in Africa. So we got her, she came in willingly. She didn't put up a fight. She wasn't fussing, she wasn't anything. She came on in. And so she got in the spaceship and I contacted the parents and said, you know, we have her, she's safe. And apparently she's a little bored on your spaceship. So can I take her on a safe mission with me? Well, they agreed and she was excited. She goes, oh, I'm getting to go on a mission with you. And so what we did was we went to the safe house in Brazil and picked up another gray hybrid that had run there for safety um, because he was working on some program. And it was actually with us, with the humans, he was working on a program that he didn't feel was safe or didn't like what was going on with that program. And for fear of his own safety, he ran to the safe house in Brazil. So we picked him up. And so then we took both of them back to the big spaceship. So anyway, I thought that was pretty entertaining to figure for them trying to figure out how to handle a teenage girl that acts human. Can you imagine what she's going through and what they're going through? But anyway, that's my story today, and it is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks. Bye-bye.